Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here and today is Thursday, so you know what that means. It's a throwback Thursday. That was just not planned at all. I just I actually thought it was Sunday when I woke up because my concept of time and days of the week is kind of warped. But right now, you guys liked when I used Drag Mag the last time, so we're gonna have a more modern approach to it. And this team is from Finchinator instead of BKC. But we have Air Balloon Starmie as a means of rapid spinning for the team and because we have that we're running Dragon Knight with Dragon Gem Dragon Dance and Cloyster with Icicle Gem Icicle Spear so this should be a lot of fun the gems are broken they're basically Z moves Magnazone is there to trap Ferrothorn and Skarmory we have Jirachi Choice Scarf also helps us out with like Latias and things like that and then we have Swords Dance, Stealth Rock, Yachi Berry, Garchomp so you basically play these aggressively so that one of these guys can sweep I believe that's the way this team is played uh, if you guys want this team, go to my website, Pokemon.com, and just go to the old gen section. It'll be right there. And if you guys do enjoy Black and White OU, make sure you leave a like and let me know. Subscribe as well. Uh, if you like the my worst enemy, Mammal Swine. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is going to be something, guys. This is going to be something. Now, the cool thing is I can play Garchomp in a way uh, really aggressively early to try and take one or two. Um, if I take Polyton, I can get rid of the... Rain because I have Sunny Day Magnezone. If I take Mammal Swan, I get rid of the giant threat to my team. So I'm, I'm gonna lead off a of Garchomp because I'm gonna use it, like I said, to uh, break to break one of these mons. And this is Scarf. This is Scarf. Takes a ton of damage, right there. I do have Jirachi as a pretty easy pivot now. And if they opt to stay in an Ice Beam, it's fine too. But I'm just gonna use turn here as they go, Keldeo. This allows me to bring out the GOAT. Now, I don't want them to I'm going to click Hydro Pump here. I think they do the same thing. Okay, they just click Secret Sword, which is fine. Uh, so we got the thing in Ranger Extreme Speed and an Earthquake at plus one as well, which is pretty cool. I'll just click Thunderbolt in the following turn. I can easily go out into Mammal Swine, so I'm actually going to click... I mean Magnezone, so I'm actually going to click that again, but I mean it didn't work out for me. So now I'm going to trap them. <laughs> and I can rapid spin away those hazards later, so I'm not too worried. You coming in here to focus blast, bro? That's completely fine. We're getting rid of these hazards right now. Because I think my cloister just straight up sweeps with Keldeo being that weakened. That boy hit a thunder in the sun. What a demon. What an absolute demon. But I want this thing weakened, like I said. So I'm going to go for Outrage here. What the hell? That just knocked me out? Keldeo... <laughs> I can't believe that KO'd. I really can't believe that just KO'd. So I live Secret Sword for sure. Uh, I'm just trying to think... What's the, uh, the best play from this position? I think it's just to go Jirachi and click Iron Head. A little bit unfortunate, but they shouldn't be able to knock me out in one hit here. So I'm okay with taking this. We can go Dragonite, even if they Icy Win. I'm good. And I just click E-Speed. Because I want to Shell Smash in front of Mammoth Swine. That's my goal, right? My goal is to Shell Smash in front of Mammoth Swine. That should be what I need here, I think. This is Ice Gem boosted, so I'm going for it. Yeah, I think that was all I- yeah, the crit didn't matter. Well, I got multiple of them, but they didn't matter at all. Like I said, I was pretty positive that I won- especially because Tentacle runs really fast variants in black and white. Let's just get some damage off here, that way I can knock it out with the, um... That way I can knock it out with Jirachi after. They were scouting for a water move. I thought the Ice Gem would make a big difference, so... Nice. So, I mean, uh, it didn't look as clean as I wanted it to, but I ended up getting the, uh, I ended up getting exactly what I wanted. I just realized, I mean, I did 19, so as long as I did, you know, 19 times 5, or at least one of them did 20. You see a 42 right here, which means this would have been a 21. So, on average, as long as I did between, as, lo as long as the others did, like, 19, and then some did between 20, I'd be fine. So, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take the first win, you know? I'm not going to complain when Pokemon offers me something. 
So we have sun. So in, <laughs> in theory, in theory, we beat sun 1v1. But I also lose to like eruption heat trend. I do have I do have uh, this month, so it's really strong here. Another month that's very strong here is my uh, my Garchomp. So I'm actually gonna use it early just because it can get kill after kill. Lead off a of Volcarona, I'm just gonna click Earthquake. As they go Foratress. I'm gonna click Stealth Rock because what I want to do is I wanna be able to 2 hit KO them right now with Earthquake as they Rapid Spin and I want them to take, yep. You see that? So now instead of clicking two Earthquakes and putting them into potentially Custat Bear range, I'm now a plus two Garchomp. What? Come on, don't be teasing me, dude. That should be Custat Bear. What a tease, dude. What a straight up tease, though. What a tease. What a tease. Whatever, die. <laughs> that didn't matter. And if it did matter, you're defensive. Like, what are you going to do back to me? UHP Ice? Otherwise, you're getting 2 ak KO'd. Unfortunately, I, uh, I do have, an op I do have a, sh uh, a shot at losing here. Yeah, it's right, you. <laughs> I doubt their water move simply because they're on a sun team. Yep, we're good. I just click Thunderbolt, let them knock me out here. Bring out you and Rapid Spin away these hazards. Just go for Hydro for some chip, it's not gonna kill. Let them knock me out here. Oh, and they're that set, so I'm good. Either way. HP Ice won't kill me. I don't care about being... No, I don't even think they're going to burn me. Well, they could burn me with Flamethrower. Earthquake here. Loki, Scarf Volcarona. Would mess me up. But I'm going to hit that ball with a Dragon Gem Outrage. Y'all see the air balloon so I can go above all the hazards and just rapid spin? It's beautiful. Legitimately beautiful, bro. Come in above every hazard. Don't have to care. That's rich homie? Yo, uh, you know Mo. You, I, I hope you guys know Mo. It's my boy, and he's usually on the channel. Shout out to Mimor, by the way. I got Mimor music, black and white in the background. Also, my name is Code Aim because, once again, today until Tuesday, Code Aim is 30% off. This is a G Fuel. G Fuel is a caffeinated energy drink, so 18 plus. Please be aware of what you're drinking. They do have a new flavor that came out uh, today, or yesterday, excuse me. It's called Strawberry Slushy. I have it right here. I haven't tried it yet. But it's a caffeinated one, so again, 18+. plus. But they also have the hydration line, which has zero caffeine, zero calories, zero sugar. Uh, so if you guys want to check it out, you get it for 30% off. And uh, you can get like 60 scoops out of this thing uh, for 30% off. And I get damn near 90 scoops because, like I said, I, I got like a fourth of, a, of the cup. So you can get more, obviously. But, um, yeah, or I go a fourth of the scooper. So the math doesn't really add up too much. I've been playing a lot of black and white on stream as well. Uh, the other day, I feel like I should have just went undefeated with it. But my Jirachi, and I'm, I guess it's better that I'm using Scarf Jirachi because I'm not using it to tank hits as much. But I was using Special Defensive Jirachi, and it kept getting crit by Dragon Moves. Now, I was also using Choice Bank Kyurem, so when their Jirachi came in, I would do 50% plus with Outrage. But when my Jirachi came in on non-choice moves... I would also be taking 50-60% because black and white crits are so unforgiving. It's insane because they do double the damage. They do straight up double the damage. That is such a cool team. I'm, lo I'm loving these builds. I truly am. You get messed up by uh, this mod. Jirachi looks one, two, three. I get messed up by you, so I want to keep my son. I like, uh, I like Cloyster in this, kind of. Do I have Trick on Jirachi? I do not. I'm going to get messed up by Snorlax, so I have to Dragon Dance up with Dragonite. This thing could be Sash as well. Oh, there's so many problems here. All right. The reason I went off with Jirachi is because it just matches up well versus literally every mod on their team. We'll go Starmie, which invites in Obama Snow. That's an analytic boosted pump. 
I'm just gonna go for pump with my own. As they win a speed tie there, it's fine. That was their Iron Head answer, so... <laughs> As you can see by their team, I click Iron Head now. Now what I don't want to happen is... I'm gonna click Stealth Rocker. Yep, you should go Bomb Snow. Perfect. So I didn't want to... I didn't want what happened was I click Earthly, you got Bomb Snow. A Bomb Snow, I get nothing out of the turn. Right? So we click Stealth Rock there. I'm gonna click Outrage now. They can knock me off the Ice Shard. But if they don't... Oh, it's such a good turn for me. And they're probably extra belt. They're probably extra belt. This is actually not terrible. They don't have a switch into that. I like Extra Belt, Hidden Power, Fire, Ice Shard, uh, Giga Drain. I think you go out into Wall Rain here, and I'm gonna set up the Sun. Because I can't go Starmie or Die. Uh, Needle King. Yep, yep. You go Wall Rain, and I think you sub and do all your stuff. So I'm going to set up the Sun first. That way we don't have to deal with Infinite Hail and uh, Ice Body Needle uh, Wall Rain. And then I'm gonna go right out to Dragonite here. And dragging this up. And then go for dragon boosted. Excuse me. Uh, dragon gem boosted attack right there. So we get rid of, uh, in my opinion, the biggest threat. I'm also faster than every single one of their Pokemon. Ooh. The reset. I mean, Jirachi looks like it wins. All I gotta do is U-turn once on Needle King. That way I don't have to... Oh, I mean, this thing wins too. Well, the great thing is, if this thing hits itself, they can't rapid spin, so rocks are up, which means Needle King would be good. And if I don't hit myself... This is fine either way. I just U-turn here. The reason I'm U-turning in, in, into hopefully Cloyster is because I want to be able to Ice Shard. And I want to be able to Ice Punch, basically, to win. So, if I Ice Shard Alakazam... I can Ice Punch to kill it. If I Ice Shard Needle King, I Iron Head to win. So, Cloyster is the best play. Let's get this little Ice Gem off real quick. Either way, Cloyster wins me the game right now, no matter what. Because you just go for Ice Shard, boost it. And we go for Ice Punch here. What if they're Yachi Berry on their Nido King? No, they're Life Orb. They did 70% to a Garchomp. That's Life Orb Sheer Force boosted. You guys can't see the Life Orb because it's Sheer Force boosted, but it should be game. Good game. Cool team. Really cool team. I like your team a lot. Legitimately, that Warrain was going to put me down. If I, uh, the only thing I had for it was Cloyster, and if I Shell Smash, if they're a Blizzard, it's a different story because I four times resisted, but if it's Surf and I Shell Smash, uh, they do a lot to me. And then I have to hit my Rock Blasts. Alright, so this is a standard looking black and white team. I mean, every team is... <laughs> standard looking, right? Uh, I do want Rocks up. They're gonna help Cloyster. Cloyster looks really good here if I get damage off on Keldeo. I'm actually gonna lead off a Garchomp because I can get damage off on Keldeo. Uh, good play going, or leading with Jirachi. I mean, excuse me, leading off with Latios. We're just gonna U-turn here. Because this allows me to get Rocks up. Rock's gonna be big too because Hydro Pump and Ice Beam is a guaranteed KO on Latios with Rock. Actually, with Life Orb, it's a guaranteed KO anyway, I think. Analytic boosted, most likely. So the leftovers, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna get up Stealth Rock, like I said. I prioritize these because I'm trying to win the game with my. Uh, I'm trying to win the game with my Cloister. So, and they made a play that means I get a guaranteed kill here because, yep. If they went Magnezone, it'd be good for me, and they can't even beat me back. Ice Shard will kill Garchomp, so I don't have to play that aggressively. Look at that rage again. So this could be HP Bug. I'm gonna Rapid Spin first. And because I'm probably gonna get Pursuit Trapped anyway, I might as well weaken this thing. Oh look, I beat it 1v1. 
And that's why we got a Brox as well. Nice. So we'll see if the Keldeo is indeed Choice Scarf. Magnezone comes out. Magnezone is a point slower than me, even if it's Choice Scarf. So uh, I will take my damage to my Jirachi in the end game. You're going to HP Fire here? That's a good play. Well, now I can keep you alive if I want to. I don't need my own Magnezone, so... Yeah, this is high key better for me. <laughs> That's high key better for me. Like all you do is get rid of sand. Thank you. Keep you alive. Want to keep you alive as well. I think they're gonna HP fire. Uh, if that scarf, it's bad for me. If this is scarf Caldeo, it's bad for me to sack this. Okay, I go back up to Rachi. Even if they HP fire. They drop a Draco. I think this lets me shell smash up with Cloyster. I lied. <laughs> okay, I think I bring out Jirachi here because they can't icy win me with Keldeo. Let me just go for Iron Head. I have priority for uh, for Garchomp as well at the end of the day. They end up going for Surf. I think Outrage is a guaranteed win. Unless they are Extra Belt. I didn't want to Dragon Dance up, but unless they are Extra Belt. And that plus that could be Scarf Garchomp. So they can only kill me with Icy Win. Which doesn't even kill. And they were most likely Scarf Keldeo. So basically in that situation, if they Icy Win me there... If they icy win me there with Keldeo, which doesn't kill me, I kill Keldeo, and then Garchomp has to come out and click Outrage, and then Cloyster kills it, no matter what. And if if Garchomp subs, it doesn't matter because it has to... Br I, I cannot hit myself in confusion multiple times for Garchomp to win. And then plus I have priority in Salad... in Salad Berry, in the Ice Shard as well. So, yeah, that was... I think that was good. I think that would be good. I didn't account for, uh, I thought it said 11% on Latios, not 10%, so I was like, okay, cool. I shall smash up now, and I should win. Unless it's Scarf Caldeo, which I guess it ended up being. But yeah, like I said, I think staying with Jirachi was the play, and then just clicking Outrage immediately. I think won me that. Yeah, because even if it was special, even if it was special Garchomp, with, like, Life Orb Draco, that couldn't kill... Both Dragonite and Cloyster, and even then, it would take a Life Orb hit. It would take a Stealth Rock hit, and I think Ice Jump boosted Ice Shard just knocks it out. Let's see. I feel like it does. Yeah, 85 to 101. So assuming, like I said, it would take the Stealth Rock and potentially a Life Orb hit, I would knock it out. Cool. So team's putting in work. Uh, I'm liking that Air Balloon Star Me with the Analytic. Love Analytic Star Me. I like playing generations like. Well, every generation besides, you know, 6, 7, and 8 actually shows Starmie as a, a nice and strong Pokemon. Also, I'm going to try and do the, uh, well, I want to do buffs for the other gens really soon. Sorry, i just been, like, my new chair came in yesterday for the office as well. Um, I'm like, I cut myself off a lot, but my new chair came in for the office, so I, I'm going to set that up, and then, um... I, uh, I, yeah, I, I just got a lot to do still, man. And I've really just been focusing on making sure I get out content here, on Patreon daily, streaming on Twitch daily as well. Uh, whether it be mine or someone else's. Like, today, actually, I'm streaming on G Fuel Switch at 11.30 p.m. Eastern, if you guys want to see. I'm going to play some Unite with the boys. I picked up Charizard. Well, Charizard was my starter in Unite, but, uh, like two months ago. But it finally got really good. Like, it was okay after the first patch they gave it, but now it got really, really good. Because the, the damage that mom puts out is insane. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Is that? Let me see. Nah, that's just... Okay. Um... Cloyster can very easily sweep here. I just need to weaken you, and with that, rocks do that for me. Just gonna click Stealth Rock here, they can't kill me. Then we're gonna click Swords Dance now. I don't want him expecting to be Lando, and now I'm gonna kill Lando. Yeah, this is a basically a kill on something, so I don't care. 
I trapped that Excadrill with Magnezone 110 times. So I want to get rid of their Intimidator, right? And they made a play that like, I mean, I'm hella okay with this, bro. If I break through, we're good. We're chilling. This is plus one Outrage from a Garchomp, dude. I'm clicking Outrage again, bro. I'm clicking Outrage again, bro. Go out to something. Give me this, Mon. Yeah! Awesome. So Rock stay up and Landorus is weakened. You know what that means. <laughs> Jirachi wins. <laughs> Very e And they gave me sand. So the one Mon that resists Jirachi on their team is going to be taking that chip. They lost. They lost to Starmie. I mean, they lost to a lot. Like, legitimately, Starmie messes them up. Caldeo comes out. Not even going to predict. I'm going to get a hit off so I can win with Cloyster immediately. Leftovers, Caldeo. That doesn't matter. Get more chip. I don't see Magnezone being useful, so I'm just going to let it die there. Then just click Thunderbolt. Let them knock me out. I bring out you. I click Thunderbolt. Once I force out Caldeo, I think we win, so... There you go. Goodbye, Caldeo. Scarf Dragon Pulse, which is fine. I just wanted some damage off on them. All I have to do is go you. That's not cussed that barrier range. That double doesn't mean anything. And now they lose to like extreme speed and everything. No spore in this generation, my friend. I just sacked Starmie here. Bring out you. I don't know what you even supposed to do. Yep. That's a, is, is a rat right now at that point. So, again, I played that early way. Like, they made a really uh, aggressive play. Turn one, right? By clicking Toxic. But all it did was lose them Pokemon. Legitimately, all it did was lose them Pokemon. Because after that, I'm able to SD in front of Lando. I have a Yachi Berry, so I do not have to fear HP Ice. I go right for Outrage, so I weaken their best... Jirachi answer besides extra drill. Extra drill I wasn't even worried about because I have air balloon, magnet rise, magnetism. Right? And extra drill with toxic is always, uh, and they show protect as well. It's literally toxic, protect, earthquake, rapid spin. That's that set. So they can't touch magnetism. The second I click magnet rise, I obviously get the sunny day and I bop them with two HP fires. Breloom, uh, sleep is no longer allowed in black and white. So this mon is, while well, it's still good, it's, uh, I like the choice band set. I like defensive sets too. It's just not as good or nowhere near as good as it was before, in my opinion. Um, I'm not concerned about Latios at all because of multiple priority uses. And it turns out it's Scarf, which is fine. But like it was already in range of my Ice Gem boosted Ice Shard, so I don't really have to worry too much about that. And when Keldeo come out, I'm not going to go hard star me. I, I go for one little flinchy just to see what happens. I got a crit, so I got a little bit, you know, I got a little bit power happy right there. But I was able to just open it up. And them going like... Tarantar, staying with Tarantar on the Iron Heart is insane. Even if your choice ban. That, that's an insane play. Hey, but then again, they also lost Excadrill as well as Landers. What they should have done was keep Excadrill alive because they could come in on uh, Majirachi later and try and protect through it and then sack Landers earlier to get the Intimidate and then go Excadrill after. But anyway, this is going to be a shorter video. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I uh, got to see some modern drag mag. And, uh, you know, instead of just the, the old school Choice Band, Kieran Black, Choice Band. Even though, I don't know, which one do you guys like better? Do you like Choice Band, Kieran Black? Personally, I like the Choice Band, Kieran Black one better. Just because I get to click Choice Band Outrage and nuke steals. But, either way, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Like I said, code AIM is 30% off. 18 plus, you know, for the caffeinated stuff. If not, if you want to try the hydration stuff, feel free to. And, um, yeah, I will catch you guys in another video tomorrow. Also, feel free to leave some, um, I know exactly what I'm using. I, I most likely know exactly what I'm uploading tomorrow, but feel free to leave some suggestions. I'm always down. I'm chilling right now. If we get 100, I, I know I'm just talking to talk, but if we get 100,000 followers on Twitch, I'll be doing uh, a road to uh, top 10 in OU on Twitch, and then also I'll port that over to YouTube. Um, I'm like uh, almost 97,000 followers. And let me see where we are in black and white OU, I believe, oh, we're not that, oh, here you are, so we're number 78 currently in black and white OU, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace guys, have a good one.